So today I wanted to update you guys on a pretty huge update that's going to launch soon. And this update is going to address one of the biggest issues, if not the biggest, that has been going on in Halo Infinite. And that is all the connection stuff, you know, the desync, the lag spikes, all that kind of stuff. So back in November 28th, the Halo support Twitter account tweeted out that they were investigating, uh, you know, the fluctuating ping and they were conducting a test, uh, it seems like they're making some kind of progress towards actually, you know, fixing some of these connection issues that we've all been having. And so on December 2nd, the Halo support site kind of gave us a little update on what's going on. And they basically just said that we're going to begin an update that is expected to land next Tuesday, December 6th. So I'm going to assume we're going to get some sort of patch that helps fix a lot of these connection issues and stuff like that. And not only that, but I think we might be getting the pit map that was revealed during the Halo World Championship, I believe, or something like that. Or I think it was a tourney before that. So yeah, that pit map that was made in-house by 343 might be coming along with this update because if I remember correctly they did mention that this pit map was going to be released after the winter update and so far it's been about like what two weeks since the winter update and we still haven't seen it so I'm assuming that we're probably going to get that in this update and to further confirm that this will be the final update of the year so someone on Twitter asked Unishek if this is if this is the drop pod for the month or just a standard bug fix update and so Unishek went ahead and confirmed that yeah this is the end of the year update although it seems like they might not be doing drop pods anymore um and let's be honest i don't think the drop pods really worked out so i think they kind of dropped that kind of stuff you see what i did there but um any <laughs> anyways yeah it seems like they might be dropping the the drop pod updates and they're just gonna go back to regular updates because uh yeah they didn't really hit the mark with those there was supposed to be one drop pod every month but instead we got like one every two or three months i believe and we've only gotten like two drop pods if i remember correctly and not only that, but if you guys remember the campaign stances uh, that were locked for literally, like, how long has this game been out for? Like, a year? And these were campaign-specific stances. It literally says down below uh, that you gotta get this in the campaign or something. So the stances that I'm talking about is Act of Genesis, and we also got Requiem Revengeance. So not only were those stances locked, but also a weapon charm, which was called Infinity, and yeah, it's literally the Infinity. And so these three items were locked for so long, and it left people wondering, like, what the hell was going on, you know? Why couldn't we unlock these? Are they saved for like a future DLC or something? And yeah, so we finally got an answer for that. And Unishek also confirmed this on Twitter uh, when someone asked what happened to like the stances and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so Unishek pretty much just says that these will be unlockable with the last update that is planned to land before the end of the year. So you can definitely expect to see those come along with this update. And yeah, so that's about everything that we know about this update. And so I've seen some people speculating that we might get another cross core feature, which could be a possibility, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to get my hopes up. See you guys on the next one. Peace.